Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Wanted to make this quick video today uh, talking about what I would have done before my boot camp with General Assembly. This question was asked to me by one of my followers and I figured it was a great question to ask and one that would have really helped me out before my boot camp. Uh, so I figured I'd answer it today for you. Uh, I have a few quick things that I'll mention. Uh, since I believe this is such an important question to answer, I'm actually going to update it. Uh, if I find a few things that, I, that would have benefited me in my course, I'll update this video later. So first, one really important thing would be HTTP protocol. This is just getting familiar with GET and POST requests, as well as DELETE. Uh, we don't really use PUT too much, uh, but the whole idea of uh, HTTP protocol was really new to me, and uh, maybe simply just getting a general idea of what it is and touching on it a little bit um, should actually provide uh, a little more insight and will hopefully help you when you do cover it in the boot camp. The reason why this is important is because since you're making full stack web applications, you'll need the front end to be able to talk to the back end. And by doing this, uh, you'll be using HTTP protocol. Um, so if it's something you're not familiar with, it may seem really difficult at first. So this actually moves on to my next point of the action of a client, which is your web page talking to a server with a database. Uh, so since I had no prior experience with programming or computer technology or anything, uh, I'm mentioning this to you if you are in the similar shoes. Um, this is something that's really, really important. And just getting familiar with client, server, using a database, and the kind of layout uh, that you typically see with arrows pointing from client to database, or excuse me, from client to server to the database. Database does what it needs to do, sends that information back to the server, which then sends the information back to the front end. Just getting an idea of how this stuff works should help you. Next, HTML and CSS was something that I wasn't too uh, great at following the course, and it's something that I've had to pick up on my own. Um, since I had a month before the boot camp to actually learn it, I should have spent the time learning it then. Um, so if you wanted to do some uh, Code Academy courses, which are highly recommended, then also maybe buying a book on HTML and CSS, get really comfortable with it. If you're wanting to go front end with design, anything front end oriented, you really need to know HTML and CSS. And that's not just understanding what script tags are, that is being able to implement box layout, as well as understanding margins, borders, how things are implemented on a web page, and looking at a web page and having a pretty good idea of how to construct it on your own. For CSS, this is knowing more than just color red, background color blue. This is understanding um, how to grab specific elements, which elements are more important, how to grab certain elements within a list, uh, some more complex stuff. So these two languages are pretty important, as I just said, uh, but they're also relatively easy to learn. They're much easier than JavaScript since it's very not logic based. Uh, so essentially you'll be able to teach yourself after the course. The reason why I mention it now is because if you do have a little bit of time, I believe that you can spend the time necessary to learn it before the boot camp and come in even more prepared. Uh, so the focus of this video is um, a few things that you can work on before the boot camp to give you better preparation. And I fully, I fully believe that these two languages uh, would really help you out. Again, you don't have to become a master at this, just enough to be able to implement your own layout and your own HTML and CSS and understanding it much better than, uh, say, you would have if you not looked at it, then I think you'd be much better off. I know I touched on it a little bit earlier in the video, but go to a very simple website. It could be Google probably a little more advanced than Google, uh, maybe Facebook if you want to challenge, uh, but try to implement their HTML and CSS. Uh, don't worry about the functionality, but simply lay out the web page and see if you can do it. If you can't, then you realize there's some, uh, air, uh, there's some holes right there uh, within your knowledge base of those two languages and work on it. Uh, try to make the layout. That would be great practice, and even if you fail, you know what, no worries. At least you probably gain some knowledge and come into the course a little better prepared. Next, getting comfortable with the command line. This would be terminal in uh, those Mac users out there. Not comfortable with Windows, so I'm not going to talk on Windows. Uh, within GA's WDI program, it is highly recommended, almost mandatory, that you buy a Mac. And since most developers use Macs, um, I'd imagine that most of you have them. Uh, if you don't, I would highly recommend buying one. So this is focused simply on the terminal. But getting comfortable with the terminal is really important. 
Um, you don't need to know the ins and outs of it, just understanding listing out the documents, being able to navigate through your folders and your document structures, this would be really important. Um, also tying into this, get familiar with a text editor, uh, preferably Sublime, that's what I use, that's what a lot of people in the course use, that's what the instructors use. Uh, if you know how to use the command line and then open it up files in the terminal with using Sublime or another text editor of your choice, great job. Uh, that's something that I was completely unfamiliar with and only took a few hours in the course, but again, becoming more comfortable with it, more familiar with it, will give you just a little bit of an edge in the course to be able to focus on other things. Lastly, this is a way more advanced subject, uh, but getting comfortable with data structures and algorithms. Uh, this is where the computer science degrees come in handy and this is where they excel at and something that uh, myself as well as a few others in the course uh, may have struggled a little bit since we don't have that background in computer science. Uh, we touched on binary trees, linked lists, and a few others that I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but if you can get comfortable understanding the way they work, and maybe even implementing them if you can, uh, you will be head and shoulders above your classmates. Um, this is very difficult stuff, so only do this if you have a lot of time and if you're comfortable with it. Um, but I believe that if you can get an idea of implementing some data structures and just getting comfortable with seeing them, seeing how uh, people answer them, uh, quick side note, if you're not comfortable with them and you want to look up how people answer them, strictly looking at the answer, completely alright. You don't have to know how to do it. Um, but just get an idea of how data structures work, uh, how linked lists work, binary trees, how to navigate through them uh, would be a great step up. I uh, hope this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them or feel free to subscribe uh, if you want to follow my journey to become a web developer. Again, this video is to give you an idea of a few things that you can possibly work on before the boot camp if uh, you have some spare time and if you feel like you have done Code Academy and want some, uh, some extra things to work on. Uh, again, hope this helped and uh, I'll be hopefully making some videos in the future touching on the same subject. Uh, but talk to you later.